Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today. And when I was looking into an important mound site in Tennessee, I just stumbled across this information and I was fairly surprised. So I thought I'd make a video about this because this is really lost history. We are flying into Teleco Lake in Tennessee. And this here is a site of one of the oldest habitations in the ancient United States. Today it is submerged below Teleco Lake. And in the early 70s, a dam was built here on the Little Tennessee River and submerged this area. But this is important lost history. Early people here were doing things about 500 years after Gobekli Tepe was buried. That's how far back this stretches. Now here is a website I will leave below, but information on this site is very, very scarce. It says, another important archaic site is located in East Tennessee, it was named by archaeologists the Ice House Bottom Site. Ice House Bottom was located on the riverbank of the Little Tennessee River in Monroe County near Venora, Tennessee. It is significant because it dates back to 7,500 BC, making it one of the oldest known locations of human inhabitation in eastern North America. Archaeologists believe it was a seasonal base camp for the archaic people. A lot of guesses, a lot of unknowns here. The Ice House Bottom site revealed many important clues about the culture of early archaic Indians. For example, archaeologists found 29 clay hearths or fire pits for cooking their food. Based on artifacts and animal bones found at the, uh, found at the site, archaeologists believe they ate white-tailed deer, black bear, squirrel, rabbit, raccoon, hickory nuts, and acorns. Ice House Bottom also revealed how early archaic Indians buried their dead. Archaeologists found the graves of three women that had been cremated. Cremated means to burn the body after death. These three burials are the oldest known human burials of archaic Indians. Here is a look at Ice House Bottom, as they call it, before it was submerged. And you would never know that there was occupation here, going back to 7500 BC. Now, since this site was submerged in the 70s, not much excavation was done here. And I think they really did it because they knew they were going to lose this site. But here it's kind of marked on an old map. Here is a archaic dog burial, they say, but remains of a dog were found here. Here is pics of their excavation work that was done here. And really this landscape is pretty non-distinctive. And I think they just got lucky in the ice house bottom. That name, I think people who lived here a long time ago what they would do is they would make a circular large hole in the ground and then during the winter they would cut ice chunks from the river and put them in that deep circular pit in the ground and then cover it up with sand and stuff and that ice would stay ice for a long long time that way and probably when they were digging one of these ice houses down in the ground that's when these remains were found I think it was just by luck and that's how it got its name that's the way it appears to me though information is really scant on this place. Now what was found here? Well, there seemed to be clay hearths that were burned. There were bodies found that were buried in ritualistic fashion, even cremated. And that comes from a long, long time ago. And then it seemed later cultures came in here. This was a mound builder site around a thousand or two thousand years ago. But it seems this place was always occupied and that's the way it seems to me reading about these mound sites that really the earliest evidence goes way back into the paleo Indian period and that is just undocumented time you know seven eight thousand nine thousand years ago seems these important areas on the rivers early people inhabited these areas and then they were just inhabited through time by different cultures the mound builders and people today now here is another pic of the excavation, and I think they got really lucky finding this deep down in the ground. But what exactly did they find here? What were they doing 7500 BC, 9500 years ago in this area? What do these remains actually detail? Well, this is just kind of a lost story. If you have any information, please provide it below. But this is around the same time as Gobekli Tepe. Gobekli Tepe. Now, I did find this one article, and they did some analysis of the pottery shards that were found here, probably left here from the mound builders. 
and some of these were imported from North Carolina, some came from Ohio, and they uh, really did some good research and they found that some at other mound builder sites were actually made at Ice House Bottom. So this place was important from 7500 BC all the way up through the mound builders. So this site was obviously very important all the way through history, coming really from the end of the Ice Age when North America, when the riverways were carved, and then people moved into the most desirable living areas, and then they have lived there ever since. But what exactly did they find at Ice House Bottom, and what still remains under the ground, and now under the lake? Well, that seems to me to be a big mystery. That is my report on Ice House Bottom. And that is the first video on YouTube about a very important site submerged today below Teleco Lake in Tennessee. I have another video coming up that is almost finished from Tennessee. Those of you who live there probably know where it is coming from. But that is lost history. That's the first video on YouTube about a very important, very, very ancient site in present day United States. That's why you subscribed to me. Hope you thought that was interesting and you all have a very nice day.